In this video, we're going to be taking a look at transferring files from a desktop or a laptop computer to an iPad. Now this technique will also work with the iPhone and the iPod Touch as well. Now before we get started, we're going to need a program called iTunes on your desktop or laptop computer. If you're using a Mac-based computer, or like a Macintosh or a MacBook, then you should already have iTunes pre-installed. But if you are working with a Windows PC-based computer, then you're going to want to go to www.itunes.com and download iTunes for your computer and install it. Once you have iTunes installed, you're ready to go. Make sure you connect your iPad to your computer using the provided USB cable. Once you have your iPad connected to your computer, then iTunes should automatically open. Now, I already have iTunes pretty extensively used, as you can see by my library here, but if you're using iTunes for the first time, then your screen may look like this screenshot. In any case, what we're going to do now is go to this icon, or this little button, on the top right-hand corner. You can see that it has the word iPad and a little picture of the iPad. If you're using an iPhone or an iPod Touch, it'll name that accordingly. Now, be careful. This button actually comes in two parts. The right portion of the button actually has the eject portion. It looks like a triangle with a little line under it. Make sure you don't click on that or else you will disconnect the iPad from your computer. So make sure you're clicking either in the middle or towards the left area of this button. Okay? Click on that. And the next thing you'll see is a new screen that will show you a summary of what's on your iPad. Your memory, the other things here. What we're interested in is a menu item called Apps. Go ahead and tap on that. And now you're going to see a whole bunch of apps that are installed on your iPad or iDevice. Now what we're going to do is actually scroll down to the bottom of this screen until you see something called file sharing. See that over here? And here you can see several of my apps that I've already installed, purchased, installed, or even the ones that are already pre-installed on the iPad. You can see there are two windows. The apps window over here and the documents window over here. Go ahead and click on an app that you want to move the files to. In this case, this is a PDF reader app called Gigbook. And as you can see, as I click on it, over here the area is blank and empty. There's nothing in this app. What you have to do is actually scroll down a little bit further until you see this button that's called Add. Go ahead and click on Add. And this will give you the opportunity to navigate to your file directory on your computer. I already have a folder here within my Documents folder called iPad Sheet Music. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select one of these. It's a Chopin Prelude. It's a PDF file for a PDF reader. And click on Open. And as you can see, the file now appears in the Documents section of this particular app. Okay? Now let's go ahead and take a look at this app on the iPad. I'm going to pull up a screenshot of my iPad over here. Let's go ahead and open up Gigbook. And as you can see, we have the Chopin Prelude right here. I can open it up and the file appears. Now, in some cases, if this is the first time you're installing or moving files into an app. I was actually making this video earlier and I was finding that the file didn't appear right away. What you may need to do is you may need to close the app and then open it up again. To do that, just double click on your home button, tap and hold the icon on the bottom that's showing the app that you want to close. Do you see the little red circle with the minus sign there? Tap on the minus sign and that app will close. Tap outside of that bottom panel area, open the app again, and you should see the file appear. Okay? So if it doesn't appear initially, don't panic. Close the app if it doesn't appear, and then reopen it one more time, and it should appear. All right? And so you, here you have this PDF file over here. Great. Now, let's go back, and let's talk about some other ways to move files. 
let's say you want to move a whole bunch of files at once. And this is where working with iTunes can be a really, really, really handy. Let's go ahead and let's say we want to move three files all at once. What I can do now is I can click on this file over here and now holding the shift button I can move down and then click on the bottom of a segment of files and when I tap on the bottom of this all of the files between the top one, the first one that I clicked and the last one that I click will be selected. You can do this in the reverse order as well. So let's say I select the bottom file over here, hold the shift button and as I'm holding it I will left click another file up here and as you can see all of those files in between will be selected. Click on open. Now so this is a great way if you have dozens or even hundreds of files and you don't want to move them all at once. You don't have to do this one at a time. You can sl simply select all of them all at once and then they'll be shifted over. Let's do one more thing over here. Click on add. Now let's say you want to add files but you don't want to add every single one of them. You just want to select a few uh, in out of order. So for example, let's say I want to select I wish over here and then I want to select this one over here. All right, they're not adjacent and I don't want to, I already have the Chopin Prelude, so I don't need that again. What I can do is I can click on the first file that I'm selecting. On the Macintosh, press and hold the Command button and on the Windows computer, you're going to press and hold the Control button. While holding that button on your keyboard, use your mouse or trackpad and tap or click on the other file that you want to select. Now as you can see we're skipping that file in between. We just have these other files out of order selected. And you can do that with multiple files okay, in any order you like. If you want to deselect it just click it again and that'll remove the selection. Again while I'm still holding either the command button on my Macintosh or the control button on my Windows PC keyboard. Once you've selected what you're looking for, click on Open, and those files will be transferred. Let's take a quick look at our app again and just see how these files have been moved over. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up one more time. Click on Done over here, and as you can see, now all the files have appeared. Pretty cool, isn't it? These are all PDF files. This is very handy for musicians who have a large library. Okay, and This PDF file happens to have words over here. Again, one thing you also want to keep in mind is make sure that you are moving files to a, an app that can read that particular file type. If I were to transfer, for example, for this app, this is a PDF reader, if I were to transfer over text files, it wouldn't recognize it. You'll have the file in here but the app itself won't be able to use it. So again, pick the appropriate file type for the app that you're going to be using it with. A couple more things real quick. If I wanted to move files from my iPad to my computer, I can do the same thing. Take a look at this. Let's go ahead and select a greater song up here, this PDF. I'm clicking over here in iTunes. And now take a look. You have a new button that suddenly becomes active. Click on Save To. And let's say I want to move this to, oh, I don't know, my desktop over here. I'm going to navigate to there. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on Open. And let's go ahead and take a look at my desktop. As you can see, the file is right here. You can see that now it's on my desktop. You can also, let's go back to iTunes over here. Let's say you want to move multiple files. Again, the same things that we were just talking about. You can either click on the top portion and then tap and hold, press and hold the shift button on your keyboard and then click on the bottom selection or again, reverse, click on one file and then move through a whole bunch of files and get to the top of that selection and while you're holding the shift key on your keyboard, click on the top portion and all of those files will be selected. Click on Save To. Let's go ahead into your desktop and save it there. Or again, if you want to select files that are out of order, you can select one file over here, uh, press and hold the Command button on your Macintosh or the Control key on your Windows computer keyboard. Select the other file. Again, you can do it in either or. 
select the file if you want or click it again if you want to remove the selection click on save to let's go back to that desktop over there and again so you can select either one at a time in a group or in a group that's out of order lastly let's say that we want to get rid of some files in within a particular app what I can do is I can select one of these files click on it and then press the delete key on your computer it'll ask you to confirm that go ahead and confirm it and that will remove that file from the app and again you can also do the same kinds of things if you want to remove everything or a whole bunch of things use the shift key to select a whole bunch of files adjacent files or use your control key if you want to pick files out of order click on the delete key and that will remove those files from the app okay and again it's very simple to move things back and forth take a look at the app over here I'll just show you to you really quickly as you can see those files have been removed so that's a quick look at being able to manipulate files back and forth now finally when you're finished click on done now remember that eject button I was talking to you about at the beginning of the video this is the one that looks like a little triangle with a line underneath. If you move your mouse right above it, you'll see it kind of turns into, there's a little gray circle that appears around it. Before you remove your iPad or iDevice from your computer, you're going to want to click on this. That will ensure that your iPad is safely disconnected from your computer without any damage to the memory or the files within the device. So that's a look at how to transfer files back and forth from a desktop or a laptop computer and an iPad or other iOS device using iTunes.